Hello everyone, welcome back to Florida Mama Flips. I hope you're all doing amazing. My name is Alicia. I go to garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores, and buy undervalued items to flip for a profit on eBay. I'm gonna take you guys along with me today to the Goodwill, and hopefully we'll find some amazing scores. I'll come back and share everything with you once we get home. All right, guys. We are heading in. Yes, baby, just one second. We're heading into the Goodwill, 50% off today. Let's see what we can find. Timon and Pumba. What happened, Riley? This is a Shopkins. There's a little Pikachu. It's half off today, so two dollars and fifty cents. It's a little plush pillow. It doesn't say pillow pets on it though. It's uh, some kind of other language. It says 2018 on it. So it's still cute though for two fifty. I think I could make a little bit of money off of it. These guys probably not so much. Cute though. Okay, we'll grab this guy. <laughs> Bear in the big blue house. He's a little dirty. I think I might be able to get this out though. That's not terrible. Um, let me pull up some comps on him and see. Um, let me see if he's worth anything. So this is um, off of a 90s show. No holes. So yeah, we'll see. Oh my gosh, all these toys. <sighs> they must have got a massive donation <laughs> right uh, right after Christmas. So. Hold on a minute, let me see. There's a lot of a lot of toys here. Moana, make way, make way. Mega Blocks Play Farm. I see a tractor in there. Oh, it says a hundred pieces. 1996. I don't think all the pieces are in there. We'll look it up though for $1.50. Check it out. Be good, okay? Yes. Erwin. It's 
some kind of tools. Five bucks. It's pretty. Is it actually a Lego? There's nothing in it. Playmobil. Twinsies to infinity and beyond. There's another one down here. Look at those. It's okay, baby. All right, guys, I am now back for my two Goodwill trips today, and I did a Facebook marketplace where I grabbed a bunch of stuff for free from this wonderful um, husband and wife and I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. Uh, let me go ahead and get started. I did the, the first trip I only grabbed two things. So this is a vintage uh, Mega Blocks Play Farm. I'm not sure if all the pieces are in there but it appears to be so. I can see the tractor up here at the top. Um, I paid $1.50. Everything on this table was 50% off today so whatever the price tag says it was half off. So um, $1.50 for this and some of these are going for right around there's one that's priced for around seventy dollars plus shipping um it's called will will farm but it's very similar to this same tractor um same blocks and things like that so i'm just gonna list mine for right around there um and see what happens um i'll i would take an offer obviously this is not extremely heavy it is awkward a little little awkward big but um i, I i'd still probably take an offer 40 to 50 bucks on that this was an amazing score. So I got, I paid 50 cents for this guy. He's a little bit dirty. He, I'm going to throw him in the washing machine. I'm not sure if any of you guys have watched or your children watch Bear in the Big Blue House. This is a big, large 18, 20 inch bear. And there are comps for right around $68 plus shipping for him, believe it or not. So definitely a bolo. Bear in the Big Blue House. 50 cent investment for me. I'm definitely going to make some money on that. All right, and then I just grabbed these little guys also at the same Goodwill. Um, these are just for me. I love like outdoor stuff and I always pick it up for cheap. So I think I only paid like $1.50, two bucks for these, these cute little frogs. So I'll just stick them out on the back porch and uh, they'll look super cute back there. All right, um, headed into the second Goodwill, which is my very local Goodwill. It's only 10 minutes down the road. And I could not believe that I actually found yeti still in my local goodwill so i was super happy to um find these and this purple is called peak purple and these are just kind of like hot shots so the, the inner lid comes off and um the peak purple um this is they come out with certain colors and they only release them certain times of the year and then never again or whatever so i paid a dollar fifty a piece for these and this peak purple one 
um, has current comps going for around $32 plus shipping. Um, Navy is not going for as much money, though I don't care. Just being Yeti, they're going to sell really quickly. Um, and the Yetis are going for this, the not the Yeti, the Navies are going for around $18. Um, plus shipping. So all in all, not bad. I like I said, a dollar fifty a piece for these. I snatch them up as soon as I see them um, on the shelf. So you can't go wrong with that. I seen all these Buzz Lightyear guys, and I don't know. I have this weird attraction to Buzz, and um, he's super cool. He does talk. Scanning perimeter. So. Laser at full power. And um, they were priced at a dollar fifty a piece, so they were half off. So they two, they were two ninety nine, and I had half off today. So approaching destination. Um, but he talks. And... Area secure. <laughs> he talks and lights up. Um, I got both of them. They they have a little bit of wear and tear to them. Not too bad. Um, these guys right here go for you know right around fifteen dollars plus shipping. So not a huge profit on them. I think they're cool. I couldn't leave them sitting there. Um, so $15 plus shipping a piece for those. I only paid $1.50 a piece, so not terrible. This guy's actually worth more money, and it's also Woody. I think this comes from Disney, and um, just a cool little light to take to Disney or on any kind of trips for your kids. Cool little collectible. Um, this one's going for around um, $18 plus shipping. It's, it's going to be easier to ship. He's like half the size of the other ones. So um, not bad for $18 bucks, um, for a $1.50 investment. Both of these Playmobil boxes, they're pirates. And um, this one was, uh, I paid $5 for this one and I paid $2.50 for this one. Um, that's with my discounts and I'm probably going to list, let's see, there's some, there's comps for the bigger one for $27. I could probably get a lot them together because they do go together, um, for like 50 to $60 for both of those. So what I say, like a $15 investment, um, I'll probably make 50, $60 plus shipping, um, uh, on those little Playmobil. So Playmobil is something to definitely look out for. Um, certain ones are more collectible than others. But I think pirate um, pirate theme is definitely cool, so it should sell pretty quick. And I see this box. Sorry about the lighting. It says Irwin on it, and I could tell it was old. And when I opened it up, I was just really happy to see that it was actually full of what I was expecting. So um, it's just tools. Uh, vintage tools can always go for really good money. Vintage craftsmen and things like that. But this is an Irwin Auger uh, bit set and it is min missing one of the augers so there's originally supposed to be i believe 12 in here and i think i have 11. Oh, let, me, let me see five six seven eight. yeah i think there's supposed to be 12 in here so anyway um there is a a, a current sold comp uh that that was a for right around 114 dollars so since it is missing the one piece, I'll probably list mine for around $100 plus shipping. And I think I'll be able to get it. So um, all in all, not a terrible day. Um, I got a few amazing things that I never would have expected to still continue to find at the Goodwill. I'm always happy when I find Yeti or certain name brands um, still in the store for cheap prices like that. Let's go ahead and go over the free Facebook Marketplace stuff that I got. Okay, so here we are with the free marketplace pickup stuff. Um, when I seen this post, that I knew that I I knew that it probably was vintage, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Either way, I'm still gonna go run and pick this stuff up if it's for free. Um, so the guy offered a media well, initially. Um, the guy was just offering these um, Batmobile things and, and these figures. And so that's all I thought I was picking up. And so my husband went over to grab it. And the guy ended up offering like multiple boxes of things. Not not a lot of valuable items. Um, but still, nonetheless, if it's, if it's worth anything, I'm going to take it and, you know, try to sell it. Why not? Uh, but let's just go over some of the things that are actually worth some pretty good value. So, um, there was a Spider E99 paintball gun. It's running for around $40 plus shipping on eBay. Um, paintball guns are a pain to ship. I've, I've shipped a few of them, um, but they always sell. So, um, this is a really cool Smokey the Bear prevent forest fires figure and um he's pretty rare it's from is it dakin or dakin d-a-k-i-n it might be dakin 
And um, he is selling for somewhere around $25, so pretty consistently. There's only a couple listed, so it should sell pretty quick. Um, let's see here. Uh, the Batman car is going for around $20 in the condition that it's in. And the plane's going for around $25. I may be able to get a little bit more because the one that did sell for $25 um, was missing this um, plastic piece on the front where, you know, it opens up and you can see inside or whatnot. Um, but where the real money is at is in all these figures here. So um, a lot of times the figures are what people are actually looking for to complete the bigger pieces that they have or had from their childhood. So um, just this one white Batman here um, is selling for over $30. Um, there was one that sold for $30 without the little cap for the, the head. So um, keep your eyes open for... Um, any kind of vintage figures. I've made loads of money off of just tiny little vintage figures. I'm probably gonna lot all the rest of these little guys up. They're worth between 10 to $15 a piece. And um, I'll probably lot them all up, probably 30 to $40. Um, yeah, so, and I thought this was really cool. I don't think there's any value to it, but it's just a vintage Batman Pez. Um, it's a teal color. I know there's some blue ones, but this is actually teal. It looks blue, so I think it's only worth like five or 10 bucks. Um, there's also a bag here. I haven't looked at the values of it or of, it, of any of this stuff, but um, some Star Wars characters. So I mean, these could these could potentially get me anywhere from twenty to forty dollars, depending on if there's any rare ones in there. R two D two, all that good stuff. So, and um, these are really neat. If anybody has any information, um, these are Playmobil, but. What was the one that had a date on it? It was from like 1974. I mean, I didn't even know they made Playmobil in 1974. If anybody has any information on vintage Playmobil, obviously I collect these and lot them all up together. And this is a, an, old, an old Tonka fireman, which I thought was really super cool. So it says Tonka and it says Corpor Tonka Corporation, but there's no actual date on it. So I can't find any listings on um, eBay. So, um, but I think he's cool. I think he'll definitely sell. Last but not least, he gave me a whole bunch of books. I wasn't interested in most of them, um, but I was looking at them that these child craft books actually have some pretty good value. There's some that are, you know, you can get anywhere between five to $10 a book. And as we all know that media mail is really, really cheap to be able to ship books and things like that so I'm gonna list these all together and they're in fairly good condition and there's probably about 10 to 15 books here um, so I'm hoping to get around $50 right around 30 to $50 for this box of books so all of that today was for free other than my Goodwill trip and I appreciate you guys watching I hope that you like and subscribe to my channel and I can't wait to see you on the next video